This thing flew so incredibly good. However, the footage is so incredibly shitty. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about noise. It's because look at my GoPro mounting solution. So. Alright guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I have been testing quads because you guys have been crying. Why don't you go fly anymore? We want to see flight footage. Well, finally the weather cleared up and once the weather cleared up, I lost my GoPro and I just received a GoPro yesterday, two days ago. I don't even remember and I went out flying. However, this one's going to be pretty interesting. So meanwhile, I was waiting for the GoPro. I received the Yashin Wizard. This was the V2. So we already, if you've seen the previous video, you would know that or a couple of previous videos back. This is the V2. They fixed the latency issue. So I didn't do anything to it. I just bind it, changed my rates, took it out flying. We'll get into that right now. This was provided me by Banggood. This one also was provided me by Banggood. It's called the Everwing. This is one of the first, I think, pre-built 6S low KV builds. This was pretty good, but we'll get into that in a little bit. And then what I used to compare all of these was my ultimate freestyle build. Now this is running the F40. I forgot which ones, but they're the hella strong ones. Uh, 2600 KV with the Dal RC engine, Kikute uh, V2 flight controller. I th Yeah, the Kikute V2 flight controller, some Eoshin VTX and a Foxeer camera. Now I did use pretty much the same props on all of them. And in this video, we're going to talk about this guy and later on, we'll talk about all three. So it's very rare for me to say, wow, 
as soon as I land. Like, like, whoa. I've only had that twice happen now. One time was with this guy. And another time was actually with this guy. This thing flew so incredibly good. However, the footage is so incredibly shitty. It's I'm not, I'm not talking about noise. It's because... Look at my GoPro mounting solution. So, so yeah, I was very upset, but the way that it flew, the power, the agility, the uh, reliability, actually, the video feed, everything about it was just insane. So I just came back here just to check its price because I don't even know its price. It's priced around 220 bucks, I think, like fully built with everything, BNF, bind and fly. That's if you have FR Sky. They, they give you everything. They give you two sets of Cyclone 5046 props they're the tri blades those are my favorite props because when they bend you can just bend them back and then just use them a little bit longer and um that's what i did with these two here i compared it to this guy um the motors came down cool it needs a little tiny bit of tuning but holy crap it flew insanely good like it flew really 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 good like i would take this and it feels like something that i have built that's how good it flew now i didn't try the onboard dvr i didn't try any of that crap i just wanted to go fly it you'll see in the osd footage if i do show that everything just the whole osd is full of those everything because i didn't even bother changing it i said you know what i wasn't even gonna fly i said you know what? i'll bring it and uh, if I feel like flying, I'll fly it and we'll see how it goes. Because I was just like, I'm gonna probably gonna end up crashing because of latency. I don't know what the hell to expect. But guys, I shit you not, this thing flew amazing. Like literally insanely good. Unfortunately, the video is absolutely trash because of the GoPro mounting solution. But overall, this quad is, um, is one of those must have pre-built ones it actually let me explain this to you it flew better than the diatone 2018 the gt200 and 2018 why it had the same amount of power but it was a lot easier on your batteries so that's and it just had more agility diatone just felt heavy with power it just felt like a tank with a lot of power this thing felt like how did it feel like? It felt light, agile, and it just has a shitload of power. And it felt very good to fly, like like insanely good, like better than some of the budget quads that we've built on the channel, which which really really surprised me. And um, I just I couldn't believe it. I was gonna come here and be like, oh, it's a piece of crap. Well, it's not a piece of crap. I'm gonna say, oh, it's okay. I mean, yeah, you're paying two hundred. It's pretty much ready. Uh, parts are available, but. Um, the execution, the build quality, the stuff they used, the ESCs, when I check this out, when I first got the first one, I still haven't even flew it, I just took it apart to test its latency, test the ESCs and test the motors, I didn't test the motors fully uh, for thrust and stuff, but what I did is I tested the motors with the ESC combination, and it was kind of noisy, and it did have chopping. But they, 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 they really actually, I think, saw my video or someone or got some feedback. And that's why they added these two capacitors. Now, I don't know if these are low ASR capacitors right there, but they made an absolute difference. I could hear the smoothness in the motor. I could feel the quad flying good. It needs a little bit of tuning. But for anyone, like especially a newbie, you're going to go and have fun. And I've, I crashed a couple pretty hard times. I crashed into a pole a couple times. And I was like, that's it. I'm going to go find it in pieces now. Nope. It's still working good actually i didn't even check the motors after that crash but i still flew it after that crash beautiful this is just um it's very good it's a very good pre-built one Eoshin did a very good job on the v2 the v1 because if it performed as good then it's really good but the dvr latency uh, i didn't notice any latency i really didn't i tried to notice the latency but i really couldn't and then i i just flew it like any other quad and i really did enjoy it that's what i'm trying to get at is i really did enjoy it and i wanted to put more packs in it um so that was pretty awesome uh, you know to compare it with my ultimate freestyle build that's something pretty big to say here. Now let's talk about some of the components here. So it's using the e uh, some branded 40 amp ESCs. They are Beale Heli 32, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they are Beale Heli 32 ESCs. And they do have an RGB LED. The filtration is good. I didn't have noise. At least I don't remember having noise. If I don't remember having noise, that means it was pretty good. In the DVR footage, obviously, we'll see that. So I didn't have an issue in that perspective, which was a huge plus. The motors performed very well. They landed down very cool. It was very easy on my batteries, even though I was going pretty crazy with it. And I really loved that. 
Um, they kept, you, you know what's really helping also? Check this out. Very tiny ESC power wires. I've noticed this before. This could cause EMI, electromagnetic interference. And, uh, oh, look at this. It ripped. I ripped it probably on that last crash. Anyways, you're going to have to yeah, fix that. But that's going to be an easy fix to fix right there. So the signal ripped right here. I just noticed it. Uh, did any of them else rip? That's not an issue. That's that's in a crash. That kind of a crash. I'm I'm very happy. That's that's nothing. That's just one wire. Um, the buzzer worked good. Uh, the, actually, I needed to use the buzzer a couple times to find it, and um, I'm very satisfied with it. And I'd highly recommend it. It was really that good. The VTX was pretty good, as, as you guys know. Though I don't fly very far, but the the area that I fly in for it to perform very well, I'm very satisfied. Uh, which means a lot, I think a lot, 90% of the people will be satisfied. Not a lot of people like to fly far, especially myself. I hate losing them, especially now with the grass growing like two meters up high. Good luck finding anything. Um, overall, the execution is nice. The antenna, the VTX here, the antenna was pretty good. I didn't have any breakups. I uh, didn't have any noise. And um, yeah, it was it was really, really good. It was really good. Um, I really did enjoy it actually. I, I I couldn't believe it to be honest. I was like, let's just see, you know. I just had it in the car. I was like, oh wait, I still have that wizard because I had two 6s lipos charging. I only have two 6s, so we could test this guy. So I started out with a 4s on the Everwing here. I'll leave a link to him down below. He's one of the first pre-built uh, 6s low KV flying machines, uh, quadcopters here. But to give it a full comparison with this, which I thought, you know, my, my full blast ultimate build will annihilate it. Um, no, they perform about the same. And it, and it really did perform about the goddamn same, which is pretty damn insane. And uh, that jitters, the you know, the, the crappy jitters and everything you see is from how the GoPro was mounted. This was just, you know, look at it. It's, it's not really mounted because I really don't have anywhere to mount it. It's just like one little line there. And um, yeah, I need to 3D print something for this. So to, I'll probably, I'm, I'm you know, de like for example, this is definitely coming with me every time I go as one of my backup quads. Backup quads means a reliable quad. And this actually seemed pretty goddamn reliable. Um, and uh, very sturdy, took a crash and just kept going. So uh, I do highly recommend this so far. I still haven't put a lot of time into it, but overall flight characteristics, performance, the setup, uh, the stuff that it comes with is pretty crazy. You know, they give you two battery straps. They give you two sets of props. They give you like like proper name brand props. The camera was good. The, the VTX antenna was pretty good. I mean, I don't have long range, so I can't really speak to it, but it was absolutely phenomenal. But I know, you know what? I can actually speak to it because the Everwing here, this one was actually a piece of crap for such, you know, close proximity flying that I do behind trees. This was very unpredictable, to be honest. So that's something to take note of here. And that's 100 bucks more expensive over there. Now, um, overall, it's a really nice one. I mean, really, really nice. For 220 bucks, a pre-built one. Um, like I told you, I, I, I caught myself, like, going down and picked this up, and I was just like, Wow. You know, like, wow, that was, that was really good. That flew very nice, very nice. So yeah, overall it was a very good flyer. If you're thinking of getting one, go grab yourself one. Uh, I just double checked their parts, the parts are all available. And um, Banggood or Eashin, the V2 is an absolute winner. This is one of those hit products that they're gonna make. Uh, and uh, I'm sure the second one that they're gonna make is gonna be crap. And then that, you know, you know how like Apple, one is good, one is shit. One is good, one is shit. One is good, one is shit. This is the good one. So very pleased with it, and uh, I'm highly recommending it with an open heart, and I'm um, ready to put my reputation on the line for it because that's how good it was. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Any issue? It, that was a it, it was a pretty sick ass quad. So I'll leave you guys with the footage, and please consider joining my Patreon. It really helped the channel. I do awesome things, and you're gonna get special access to my website to buy stuff for absolutely cheap. I'm working with Tico. I'm working with Maytech, and hopefully Banggood. Banggood's so big it's hard to kind of show them something to get working with. 
but we'll try to get some like Yushin Wizards for absolutely cheap price. But that'll be from the for the hidden section. I will also bring some for the just a normal section. So keep checking up on the website and the application. And the iOS app needs another 48 hours because Apple's being an absolute asshole with me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we'll see you next time. See you guys. Don't forget Patreon. See ya. Take care.